Hi, I'm Taylor Kane. I'm 20 years old and I'm originally from New Jersey, but right now I'm attending college at George Washington in Washington, D.C. When I was five years old in 2003, my dad passed away from a rare genetic X-linked disease called adrenal leukodystrophy, or ALD for short. Um, ALD is often fatal in boys and men, and women are carriers. So before my dad got sick, he spent his lifetime helping people. So for as long as I can remember, what motivated me to be an advocate was just knowing that through advocacy and through helping others, I would be honoring my dad. And I always knew that if the roles were reversed, he would dedicate his life to fighting for a cure, um, telling everyone about our family's story, you know, and trying to help as many people as he could. So I became a rare disease advocate when I was in fourth grade. Uh, that was the first time I remember doing anything advocacy related. I started off by just going around to the classes in my elementary school and telling them my story and telling them about ALD and inviting them to my family's annual um, 5K run and walk that raised money and awareness for ALD research and of the disease itself. Um, as I started getting older, I started diving into some different types of advocacy. Um, I wrote an article that was published in a local magazine. Um, I started going to different conferences and memorial services and telling them my story. Um, I would make more social media posts about my story, about my dad, about rare diseases in general. And then about a year and a half ago, I actually founded my own nonprofit organization called Remember the Girls, which is dedicated to raising awareness and advocating for carriers of X-linked recessive genetic disorders. So it was originally thought that carriers of ALD, which is an X-linked recessive genetic disorder, were asymptomatic of the disease. Um, in more recent years, the medical community has realized that this is simply not true, um, that many carriers do eventually develop mild symptoms of the disease. Um, and ALD is not the only type of disease where this happens. There are various other X-linked recessive diseases such as hemophilia, Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Kennedy's disease, Alport syndrome, where carriers were thought to once be just carriers, but now it's known that they do develop physical symptoms. However, the problem is that there's not a lot of research being done on these symptoms or what we can do to prevent them or if any treatments are available. So it often seems that the medical community isn't really realizing how, how these symptoms can affect carriers' quality of life. Um, so I think it's just really important to spread awareness um, and to hopefully mobilize the medical community to paying more attention to carriers, um, doing more research, and maybe including us in clinical trials and things of that nature. So success to me as a rare disease advocate um, would first off just being able to spread awareness of the issues that carriers of X-linked diseases are facing. Um, it would also to be, uh, success would also be to have reproductive technologies covered by insurance for carriers who need them and for carriers to feel supported um, with their emotional needs. So if you want any more information on Remember the Girls, please visit rememberthegirls.org. Thank you. Bye.